Hello, I was literally just uh, hello, hello, how are you? <laughs> it was quite funny. I'm obviously doing random RSE posts, and as I was just walking down, I was thinking that's a bit strange because I swear it's inaccessible. And, and like, I'll, rec I'll recreate it right now. So I'm walking down, I'm saying to myself, Oh, well, it's, it's inaccessible. And as I'm sort of walking and walking, and I'm thinking, Hang on, there's a hole in there, that can't be right. And then I thought, No, no, it's definitely inaccessible because, yeah, somebody's clearly tried to smash their way through that. Very determined, so much so they've actually left beer cans here in the hope that they can get rather trashed whilst doing it. But no, I think we're pretty convinced we're not going to be able to get into that one. In fact, I'll uh, just try and uh, see if like, we can figure out what beer this is. It looks like a sort of Asian variety. Vocation brewery, maybe. Lovely. So, 1961 to 1968 this one was uh, in action for should we sort of say loosely um, it is inaccessible as you could just sort of see but the condition on top is I was going to say relatively okay but I've sort of looked at it a couple of times now and it's sort of it's a typical RIC post isn't it you know it's a it's a mixed bag it's a very mixed bag here um, what they've sort of done is that you can what is quite i suppose if we're looking if we're looking being very desperate for things here you can see what would have been the outer perimeter well the perimeter fence and obviously that would have had the actual fencing going around it there's still some more over there because obviously let's you know let's just make this worthwhile even though we can't really do much with it so yeah there you go that's kind of nice that that's still here Oh, apart from that, there really ain't much else, everybody. But we knew that, didn't we? We knew that. We knew this wasn't going to be accessible, but we needed to document it for the channel, and that's the most important thing. So you can see, like, the... The farmer or the owner has done a very good job of capping this one off, and it reminds me of, um... Reminds me if you go back and look at a video that I did on Bethesden ROC post. Um, it's very similar to that where they've just completely covered, literally infilled it with a concrete cap um, and filled it up really the entrance. There's no way you're ever going to be able to get in there without a se severe sort of surgical <laughs> approach. Um, but I mean, you know it's still here and that's what's that's what i still find I sometimes find it a little bit strange the fact that you know they go to all this effort to try and sort of cap it over and i think to myself well why don't you just get rid of it i mean am i, am I being a bit harsh on that but I sort of feel like well you know if you're gonna if nobody's allowed to go in it or if you're not really gonna do anything with it why cap it over with the purpose that you're not gonna ever i don't know i don't know am i being really sort of Basic, probably am on I, but I don't know. But this is it. This is Rain and RSC post, everyone. We've we've done it. We've documented it. It's ticks off the list. Gave you the date, 1961 to 1968. It's a very short shelf life, and uh, pretty much it, everyone. But you know, it's good to document it. There are people out there who like RSC posts on the channel, and obviously, you know, I'm not going to please everybody on here. But it's kind of nice, and it makes for a nice little video. And it's kind of, you know, I think, I think it's one of them things like people sort of said to me, "Is it ever worth visiting stuff like this?" Of course it is, because it might be your local one. If you live in Raynham, this might be your only local RAC post. So yeah, of course it's worth checking it out. Because if you come here and you come here with friends or family, you can say this was because there was an imminent threat of a cold war. That the fact that we were at any second could have been in World War Three, and so yeah you know in that respect it's kind of because it's here take advantage of the fact that it's here and go with your family or your friends or whoever and just go look even though it's inaccessible do you know what lies underneath this is like this huge underground bunker well, not huge but there's an underground bunker here and you could sort of fill them in with a purpose if it was like to you know, if there was a nuclear bomb, it would be like monitoring the fallout, etc., etc. So, you know, I know that I know the day I have kids. I know that 
I'm going to be doing that. You know, if, if I move and there's an RC post near me and it's that condition, of course I'm still going to take them to it. Whether I feel that it needs to be here or not is up for debate. It sounds like a contradiction, but it's not, I promise you. It's just a fact of, you know, great, it's still here. Sad it's inaccessible. Totally understand it, by the way. It's very dangerous, obviously, for people and everything else. And, you know, people like, like to trash things. But the point is, it is here. So take advantage. Just come here. Even they can't access it. It's kind of nice that it is here. You know, so it's a reminder, and especially it's a reminder for Raynham's history. We're just on the outskirts of Raynham, but it's a reminder for their history that they had a Cold War past, and obviously, you know, it all links up with the Medway sort of Cold War history. We've got the Southern Water Bunker, which isn't too far away from here. Actually, I think I think this might be the closest. This, that would be an interesting fact. Is this the closest REC post to the Southern Water Bunker that is labelled as a Gillingham one? Is it? Don't know. I think it might be. If I'm wrong, that would be interesting. Write down in the comments. I'm not going to look. Just write down in the comments. Tell me if you think it is. But yeah. Oh, and if you don't know the Southern Water uh, Control Centre, Command Bunker, blah, 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 for Thames Water, and me and Luke went there. Um, I've been there a few times. I know, I know, the, I know the uh, bunker very, very well. Um, I think the time that we went there it was <laughs> it's gone through what I call the graffiti phase, which was the sort of like uh, Orwellian. Um, you just watch the video. You, you know what I mean? Like Big Brother's watching you, sort of thing. Very. I like it actually. It was quite cool. But we found stuff there. Whatever. But yeah, here we are. Sorry, digressed. Rainy RC post. Anyway, we're done. We documented it, we documented what's left. Do one more thing around here. You can, like I said, you know, it's, I suppose the nice thing is you've got the perimeter fence posts that are still here. Great. But anyway, thank you. Right. Thank you as always for watching. Any more words of Phoenix history? Stay tuned. No, that's not. What? I'm really not with it today. Any more words of Phoenix history? Thank you as always for watching, and I'll see y'all very soon because history matters. Take care, everybody. Bye. Kapow.